moving on to other news in the music world um what you call it bang your doors nines and free him until he's backwards and all that malarkey unfortunate story here says rapper nines and miss plans to import cannabis from poland and spain this is a story i think that broke a few weeks ago or a few months ago and it went kind of quiet but now we've got an update regarding this case and considering how high up his star was and where he was regarded and the fact that his album was critically acclaimed and all this good stuff it's a shame to see what has transpired over the last few years or last couple of years this is the following rapper nines is facing jail after admitting a plot to import 28 kilograms of cannabis into the uk from spain and poland the house and rapper real name courtney freckton 31 pleaded guilty today to drugs and money laundering charges nine to last year topped the uk album child with his third studio album crabs in the bucket appeared in harrow court alongside jason thompson from barnet the men are arrested in june after raids across london and bourne wood the pair admitted conspiracy to import a class b cannabis into the uk from poland and spain and conspiracy to transport criminal cash between march 10th and july the 3rd of last year you would never think right a rapper in, of his ilk or a rapper of his standing would be in a position to do such a thing but again you know you don't really know what these guys are battling you know outside of the music you don't know what they're going through you don't know what real situations they've come from who they're associated with and sometimes it can be a lot easier than it could, it could, it could be a lot easier said rather than done to completely disassociate yourself from that lifestyle which is why if there are people who you like who you follow who were about a certain life and have changed their life around you should do everything with your power to support them back them and let them know that you appreciate what you they've done and you appreciate how far they've come along their journey because it's not a given this is a good example it's really not a given any moment any time things can change and you could just go and revert back to type because the truth of the matter is more likely than not nines was probably on the road longer than he was a you know a certified rapper or artist or celebrity or had money you know he probably made yeah this let's just say this it probably goes without saying that he probably made money illegally longer than he did legally so to kind of get that out of your system is very difficult to do especially when it comes fast especially when it comes easy especially when you're naturally good at it because you know the one thing about nines is all that you know in terms of business he definitely was about his business knew how to maneuver certain deals and brand collaborations outside of music which makes a lot of sense because he had a lot of practice doing this allegedly um so i can only imagine how difficult it must have been to completely disassociate yourself and break yourself off their shackles especially what people don't understand too if these guys are legitimately your friends right i grew up in really shitty in neighborhoods with people that had gone have gone to prison or were in prison for a whole number of different sort of crimes and sometimes you can't help you associate with because of the yeah, they just happen to be your friends and you're in the hood. The only thing that saved me is because I was able to go to uni, I able to get a job, so that constantly kept me away from things because I was busy. But if I didn't have nothing to do and I wanted to hang out, I'd just be with these people too and I'd get caught up in stuff too just because I was with them. So it's fairly... It, so when people say oh yeah just step away and do other things and move on it's just like it's not that easy though especially when you're about it and you're there do you know what I mean day in day out it's not that hard it's not that easy to do so it's a shame again to see but I'm sure somebody of his ilk knew there's risks involved knew what would be at risk as well if he was to get caught so I'm sure mentally he's probably prepared for this more so than anybody but still it's not something that you like to see somebody go through and it said here the plot involved one successful importation and a second attempted one with the total amount of cannabis said to be 28 kg the court heard i'd assume it wasn't just cannabis i don't know if a lot of people just import cake you know weed i'm sure maybe some class a's were involved but he probably you know pleaded to the cannabis just to get a lesser charge and to kind of ensure this thing didn't go to trial and kind of get long and drawn out i would assume so who knows um prosecutor genevieve reed so the money laundering charge related to a $98,000 debt um, as well as the value of the drugs Nines and Thompson both denied further accounts of conspiracy to supply cocaine and conspiracy to supply cannabis and Miss Reed said prosecutors will not be seeking a trial on those charges so of course you know they did a, some sort of agreement of a plea deal it seems like um, the race took place after infiltrating the crypt, encrypted messaging service EncroChat a network used by thousands of criminals internationally that was brought down after being tracked by French investigators that EncroChat thing is 
has absolutely killed so many people man r.i.p let's work those who know know um one of those legendary vendors he went down and a few others um it's just sad to see and like especially during the i think it was the second lockdown or third lockdown i think that might have happened so people were you know desperately trying to numb themselves from the pain of having to live you know in a kind of um perpetual lockdown and then the people obviously selling the stuff will obviously trying to make a quick buck during a time of unprecedented uncertainty when it comes to employment and just in general when it comes to moving stuff around the world and it was getting a lot harder um around that time as well especially with brexit getting finalized and all that malarkey was making it very very difficult so i'm sure all those things added to the fact that it made it easier for the feds to come in and do a clean sweep on people using that anchor chat platform app service on the phone whatever it was the are facing a lengthy jail sentence and were remanded in custody by judge jo, uh, by judge rosa dean who adjourned the case for sentencing nines made his rapping career following um growing up in Hausen and was named the best hip-hop act last year the mobile awards his chart topping album which beat metal uh, titans metallica to the top spot of his release secured the album of the year seeing off competition from stormzy j huss liana la harvis and malaya so definitely a certified star who unfortunately is going to go and sit down for a bit hopefully not too long you would hope um seeing as he's agreed to a plea deal um maybe they can attest to his good behavior i don't know what can go on it but it's still free him in my eyes he's innocent he did nothing wrong just trying to you know feed his family and put on for his scene um you know whatever he was doing it is what it is hopefully he's freed very soon is able to kind of get back on that horse and be able to do better do good um considering his standing considering how well regarded he is i would assume if he when he does get out he will be fairly okay i think he'll be welcomed back with open arms if anything that will probably add to the legend of him anyway but for sure you know being where he was and you know having to sit down for a while off the back of this case is probably the most um greatest of outcomes but you know we have to sometimes learn the hard way in life in it and sometimes no amount of sitting down so people telling you to kind of get serious and focus on the music is ever gonna make you change when be something like this especially at his age you know what i mean it's not like he's 22 anymore do you know what i mean do, going to sit down in jail at 31 years old especially when you've been given an out the universe gave you an option to kind of leave the road and you purposely spat back in his face and went back on the road it's just a bit hard to take but again lessons need to be learned and if there's one thing about life that we've known over the last few years especially with covid is that regardless of how naive or how oblivious you are going to be the situation life is definitely going to come and remind you where exactly you're at and maybe this is it in it so three nines regardless hopefully the trial goes well and he doesn't get a super super long sentence and he's able to get back to doing what he does best <laughs>